inching ever closer, ladies and gentlemen, to Survivor Series. The hardcore invitational continues. Doors are rattled here in Vancouver for what's up wrestling. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, to Scruttle Clown. I suppose his leathery mask. Ready for action in this Extreme Rules matchup. Although, of course, it would be an Extreme Rules matchup, as this is the Hardcore Invitational. Scruttle Clown is looking to gain a couple of points, at the very least, by defeating a non entrant combatant. That is during the Hardcore Invitational Rules video. It is not required to defeat another member of the Invitational in order to obtain points. Beat anyone you want. Basically cause as much carnage as you can. Doing so will earn you points and will earn you the hopefully coveted, or soon to be coveted, Hardcore Championship. Or whatever it may go by at the time. Definitely ready for this one, ladies and gentlemen. But, of course, as is Wild Child. Here we go, and here's the bell. Both of them meeting up in the middle, and is Scrumble Clown? No. I say Scrumble Clown is going to start things off with a hard kick, but no. Manages to turn around, dropping Wild Child down with a neck breaker from behind. There's a back and forth opening there, and now the just a heavy uppercut from Scrumble Clown, and Wild Child just drops right back down. For any What's Up Wrestling historians, they would know that this match is well, rather important. As always, Wild Child, who Disgruntled Clown defeated in order to become the King of the Deathmatch in that Hell in a Cell final some years ago. And Wild Child going for the cover. Hopefully going for some payback for that night. That cold December night. Yeah. 
Much of that, and now trying for a volley, uh, volley, but no. Wild Child counters out. Shows the role that he is here for fighting. And thus far, these two combatants keeping things inside the ring despite being allowed to go out and grab weapons or take things to the crowd. Those hard elbows, and here we go. Strong Clown going for something. Some eager eyed fans looking on, and now the ladder coming out into play. All child stepping out to. Nope, they come back in, but now the Strong Clown has forgotten that the ladder is in place. Or at the very least, leaving it down. First crash later. Child slowly powering out. Yes, powers out of the full Nelson. Give him the master lock challenge. Stomp to the back. And that's just awful right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. All those comfy chairs. And yet they leave the steel chairs without any padding. And people who are actually calling title matches. Woman. But I suppose they have their reasons. Now Wild Child managing to get in behind. First DDT, the first DDT from Wild Child for this matchup. And definitely not the last. Wildchild going for the cover. There are no rope breaks here. Two and just the two count. Wildchild should not be done. He should not be calling it quits. Wildchild dipping his hand into that fiery hair right there. As far as this night has not been to Squirrel Class favor. As he spiked down hard with that DDT. Wildchild going for the third cover. Third time's the charm. And yes, third time is the charm. Wildchild victorious. Swimmel Cloud actually goes down a couple points. Just like Joy Terrifying. Now he's tied with Joy Terrifying. This matchup was damn near Wildchild all throughout. Revenge third from King of the Death match some years ago now. Now this is the DDT that did it all. Just a hard snapping DDT. Swimmel Cloud's head reading into the canvas. And Wild Child victorious here to kick us off in this week's edition of What's Up Wrestling. Yes, I've really been doing a number, with the exception of Moose, of course. Invitational. Right Smith making her way down to the ring. Looks like she has something she wants to say here. Perhaps it may have something to do with Busty or Tina, or perhaps even Anya. She's wanting to set the record straight that she is not interested in joining the harem and that she just wants Busty Busty St. Clair in the ring at some point, perhaps Survivor Series.
lead. She is calling out Busty Buffy St. Clair, and here she comes. These two women were supposed to take, face off against each other last week. At the last moment, Buffy just basically sent in Tina in her stead. This time, Buffy is actually coming out on her own. No Carmella, no Tina. So we'll see how she does. There's no backup. Shades of Lilac and Lady Chaos is last week. It seems that AJ has had it up and out. Ooh, spear there by, by Busty, but no. She's the one taken down. Well, at least she was, but now Busty is back up, fighting hard. And now Fireman's Carry after Fireman's Carry. It's a basically a brawl of fire women. Getting a hard taste of the corner turnbuckle. The officials will have to run in and start stop this one. This was not a hardcore invitational matchup, although we may be seeing a Vixen hardcore invitational at some point soon. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this brawl is not sanctioned. AJ just being flung back hard. Buffy continuing on the assault now, just stopping down on that arm. But AJ, AJ is fighting back, going for the side backbreaker. Official should be swarming in fairly soon, ladies and gentlemen. To put it a stop to this one, but no. Now Busty's knees driven hard into the canvas. Continues. Now Buffy being brought up to the top. And AJ up to the top as well. Super backdrop. Both women just down, hurt. But AJ managing up, and officials now finally in the ring. Trying to break this thing apart. I'm sure AJ really wanted that matchup with Buffy, but she's going to get it for sure at some point.
Jonathan coming right in, just plowing her way right through Crystal Blake. Crystal not with either Harper or Paige. Paige, of course, still recovering from that assault. Back from Backlash and Harper. The only thing she's just keeping to the back, keeping an eye on things as, well, even the Vixens division has gone into full turmoil. Blake with a close line of her own, taking down Catherine Neville. Perfect opportunity for Crystal to show what she's learned under the wing of Paige. I suppose she's learned how to take a DDT. We'll find out. Referee just walking around slowly. There we go, makes the one count. One count really should have been a two count. Referee just a bit slow on the upkeep. Catherine Neville oh, get up again on the rope. Just a lot of responses to that elbow drop. And here she comes from behind. Back drop. Taking Catherine down. As we mentioned before, Paige taking the challenge of taking a two former adult film, or two former adult entertainers, really, and turning them into wrestlers. Crystal Blake, a former porn starlet, and Harper, a former Vegas showgirl. And thus far, I'd say she's done a rather good job with these two. Still a bit of rest on Crystal's movements, but... She's doing great. It's having stolen the final nail right under Catherine's well, face. Her nose, I guess, on her back. And now just sending Catherine to the outside. Catherine just full of frustration, rushing at Crystal there. And now trying to get her off to the top. She's not really used to being on the top. And Crystal taking clear advantage of that. But now Catherine Neville is turning things around. And another DDT spiking Crystal's head. Hard against the canvas. And Chris is just teleporting around there a bit. Catching Catherine now going for another back drop and gets it. Knocking the back of Catherine's head against all three ring ropes. And a little dance out of Crystal. Now going for the cover. Two and just a two count for Crystal. Crystal Lake setting up. And dropping Catherine down. Another stolen finisher. That was the bitch maker from Kitty. And now, oh! Knees to the face. And Catherine with a Hurricane Rana. We don't see many of those from Catherine Neville. And Catherine knocking out, and that's how you do the final now. Catherine making certain Crystal knows that. And the referee coming down for the count, too, and just a two count. And Catherine, we always know she goes for the double. Is Crystal aware of it? And yes, Crystal is aware of it. And Crystal again. She's not going to let Catherine get in from behind. And now Catherine again coming in from behind. Catherine who seems for the time being just giving up on the final now. Crystal's just too wryly. to the side of the head there at the bottom of her boot. And Catherine just walking to the corner. And seeing a lot of, at least a side of Catherine that we don't normally see and trying for, I'm assuming, a front drop kick, missing out on that. Crystal scouting it. 
Looks like Taz been keeping hard. And a hard kick to the back. And they're dropping Crystal on her face, and now here we go with the pinfall again at just a one count. Fighting out now, she's getting in behind Catherine. But Catherine catches her arm drag, takes her down. Catherine managing in those elbows, keeping up a strong assault on Crystal. And there it is again, a second final nail. It usually just takes two, but Catherine is a bit worn out here. Still going for the cover, but no Crystal managing to kick out. No surprise there, given Catherine taking her time. And Catherine just still dazed, worn out. Perhaps she saw something in the crowd. Two. And either way, it allows Crystal Blake to take the advantage and victory. For whatever reason, Crystal Blake was just... Or Catherine Deville was just... Distracted. Catherine. Crystal Blake offering her hand. And Catherine takes it. Definitely a new side of Catherine that we've never seen before. Exactly what is going on with Catherine Neville. Voice of the Wrestling is brought to you by Snacky S'mores. Eat Snacky S'mores. Cause is supposed to be fighting Catalina Star here. 
Well, it's just going crazy on Lady Chaos. Lady Chaos is just down and out. Catalina Star just in the ring. Looks like she's just going to try and take advantage of this. But Lady Chaos managing to fight back. And the referee calling for the bell. This one starts off. Catalina Star definitely having a huge advantage here. Lady Chaos is in the process of altering Roxy into Shroud or whatever his final form will be. Either way, we don't see Shroud out here this week either. We only really saw her just two weeks ago. Really havoc. And now, Lady Chaos twisting around with Catalina Star now. Taking out the knees. Catalina is down the ring without her wife, Sahara. And Catalina taking a hard slap and not showing too kindly to that. Catalina catching it and it's an insecurity there. With a power bomb, perhaps. And no, just sending Lady Chaos's face hard against the top turnbuckle, and now a knee pressed down against her throat. And I think she's getting a lot of sympathy from the crowd. Lady Chaos is getting much sympathy from the crowd on this one. Chaos's arm torques between. Catalina's leg, but Catalina is not married. As Lady Chaos powers her way out, well, the damage certainly has to have been done. Definitely a pair of submission specialists here as Catalina comes up to her feet. Gets in the uh, elbow to the pale princess. Taking Catalina out, setting her up on the top. What's she going for? Here. Superplex from the middle rope, but still damaging to Chaos herself. And now that devastating camel clutch. But Catalina managing to. Crawl her way out of it. Now, Anaconda Vice by Catalina Star. She's got, she got it latched in. I don't think she's got it locked in, though. But it's enough. It's enough. Lady Chaos taps out the assault from Lila. Just too much. that Lady Chaos was eagerly anticipating. Taking on Catalina the Star and no submission specialist. Catalina to tap out to her tombstone choke or whatever it was what she wants to call it. Quite the feather in her cap, but unfortunately it is Catalina the Star doing the favors on Lady Chaos, making her tap out to the Anaconda Vice. And now Catalina victorious here as Lady Chaos just rolls to the outside. There'll definitely be some celebrating in the star locker room. Following that dramatic swing, we have Violence John making his way to the ring. Leader in the Hardcore Invitational. Much. He has a couple points to his name, but 
those two points are enough to put him in first place, defeating both Bonk and Doink. Victory here will certainly bring him much further ahead in the rankings as he takes on Sammy D. As we said earlier tonight, Sammy D attempted a post-match assault on Miles John following his matchup against Bonk. Unfortunately, Miles John was left on his feet when referees had to call it. Therefore, no point was earned for Sammy Destruction. Finally getting his feet wet for, I guess officially, here for the Hardcore Invitational. See if he takes his spot as the new favorite. First showing in that hardcore fatal four-way involving Colin Stiles, Sean McClown, and Joey Terrifying. Unfortunately, he wasn't. He didn't win, but at the same time, he wasn't involved in that equation. Let's see how he does here tonight. And he takes on Violence John in this Extreme Rules matchup. John comes running in. Sammy D too slow on the upkeep with a shot of his own. John managing in the top rope double axe handle to top of the head. Now just making quick work of Sammy destruction. What a tagline for this one, Sammy D, D for destruction, Violence John with the destroyer. Sammy D bringing Violence John up. Introducing him to the ropes and sends him right back. Stiff elbows to the side of the head. This is really going to do more of ringing the bell than actually doing too much damage. Sammy Destruction with a double axe handle of his own. Violent Strong rolls to the outside, perhaps just for safety, or to get Sammy D to the outside himself. And hard clothesline just taking out Violent John's shoulder. And Sammy D almost attempted to send him hard into the crowd, but Violent Strong was able to move out of the way. And now. The fight continues. Referee just keeping in a safe position here, not bothering to count. Oh, running Polish hammer there by Wallace John. Shades of Honey Rydell with her honey glazed. there by Sammy Destruction, managing to turn things around. A hot shot off the rope, Sammy D going for the first cover, not even a one count though. I think that's perhaps just Sammy showing that he could. Just showing that he has the energy now and hard kick to the back. Just flurry of kicks and stomps from Sammy Destruction there. And Sammy D's staggered. Final strong rushes right through him with a hard shoulder block and now going for the cover. Don't think he's going to get much, and no, he does not. Not here, not now. Now 
Thomas John perhaps remembering what this matchup is. Finally going for a weapon. We saw a ladder brought in before. Wasn't even used. Now, kendo stick straight to the small of the back. Well, it's not taking another swing. And, oh, Sammy D. Hard shot to the gut. Tosses the kendo stick down. Backbreaker there by Sammy D. Stick still down in that. Nope. Malashan, no. Sammy kicks away, but no. Malashan kicks Sammy D away. You know, Malashan going to the top. Will this be it? He's calling for the destroyer, and he misses. Sammy D had that one scouted. And Sammy breaking the eyes. Violence John, Sammy's feet kicking, but no. And power slam by Violence John going for the cover. Still looks a bit blinded, basically. I think he's just going by feel, and now he feels out the candlestick, and the candlestick again to the small of the back, and to the outside it goes. Violence John could be setting up for another, another double axe handle, and yes, double axe handle, crowning Sammy D. And Misses the elbow. But still, Miles John's celebrating like he hit it. And trying for the clothesline, but no, Sammy D has it scouted. And Sammy D. I was going to say, no, Sammy D not climbing to the top, just doing a little howl. He certainly knows that Thomas John loves that candlestick, so get him away from it. Sammy D. Powell driver. That ball chrome dome dropped hard. Two. And no. No, Sammy D. Almost getting it to three count. To what he knows best and just stomping out certain areas of Violence John's body. And another hard kick beneath the jaw, and Violence John rolls to the outside. Is he just stalking or does he have a plan? And his plan involves gathering up another weapon. And it's a sledgehammer, sledgehammer to the gut, sledgehammer to the gut, and now finally getting in that running elbow, but I think Vaz John landed on the sledgehammer as well. And Sammy D raising his wood. And here we go, destroyer elbow with Sammy D on the, still on the sledgehammer. Will this be it? Two and three, yes! While it's John victorious, he secures his lead. And then we see that first shot. The first attempt at the destroyer elbow was a failure. And that hard pile driver, something we don't normally see here in West Ham Wrestling, and that heavy kick in the second. Destroyer elbow. Yes, we see it. Sammy D was just lying on top of that sledgehammer. And Joy terrifying. He's got a baseball bat. Joy terrifying bringing in and just running straight through Violence John with that bat. But Violence John rolling through, stealing it away. Now they're just fighting over the bat. You've got a sledgehammer, Violence John. I think that does better. By the way, Joy Terrifying trying for some points. Trying for some points, taking out the big man, the man who's in the lead. It's last place, taking on first place here. Unfortunately, oh! And now a back rake, yes. Shave your back, ladies and gentlemen. Shave your back, get it trending. 
And no oh, hard drop there on Joey Terrifying. And DDT. Joey Terrifying down and out. And now Finalist John just basically wailing away on his head. Trying to make him bleed. Trying to make him regret coming down to this ring. The action continues. And Violence John scoring another point. Losing his Universal title back at Halloween Havoc. He does have his rematch in the eyes, I suppose that's what he's here to talk about. So it will be Roger Desmond and Jamie Hill. And let's listen in. So three stages of hell match. First a tag match, then a street fight, and finally a hell in a cell. If things get that far, and I'm sure the fans really hope that they do, Survivor Series just got more survivally. You see Kitty in the backstage. It looks like she's waiting for something. There's Alexa Bliss. Some shared words between the two. Uh. And oh, a headbutt by Kitty. Uh. Seeing Kitty uh. basically come down and just assault and lacks of this just last week. And another headbutt just. Uh. She may have just been waiting for her. So what is going on with Kitty? Why she has this problem with the lacks of this? Either way, we're. We're gonna call this thing, ladies and gentlemen. It is a backstage brawl, and Stephanie McMahon is known for just letting these things happen. Now, Alexa with a hard slap to the side of Kitty's face, but Kitty answering back with a jawbreaker. Oh, he just, ooh, Alexa throwing hard over Kitty's own head. Ah. Alexa Bliss is knocked ah. down, and now she's fighting back. Ah. Hard forearms to the face, a trio of them, and now Kitty with an elbow. Ah! Now Kitty with a couple of forearms of her own, sending Alexa oh. running. Ah. Kitty just jawing as she ah. basically stalks towards Alexa, but Alexa fighting back, needs to the gun, now bringing ah. her over. Ah. 
Daisy just sends it running hard into that court. Shades of the hardcore invitational, of course. Steal a chair over, and Kitty attempting a scoop slam. And now, oh, Kitty's back ran hard against the the concrete wall there. Some athleticism there by Alexa Bliss, and just taking the time to preen, spread out her peacock feathers. Contrary to the assault that these women are suffering, they are fighting hard. Looks like this now taking charge of things, just stopping down on, on Kitty's ankle. Let's with that. DDT. Kitty may be down and out, but Alexa doesn't appear finished just yet. She's on top of that shipping crate. And boom, comes down hard with that body splash. Kitty is still down, unresponsive, really. May not have started this thing, but she, oh, I was going to say she was going to end it. Uh. Looks like Kitty might be trying to take things towards the parking garage. But first she's going to toss Alexa back onto that red line. But Kitty, no, no, she wouldn't do this. She would, no, Alexa managing to see it coming. It almost looked as if Kitty was planning for the bitch maker. And with another DDT, Alexa Bliss declared victorious here. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Craig Stevens, Jamie Hill inside the ring, ready for this one. Excellence written all over it. Suffering some kind of technical difficulties earlier, catching the out entrances. I do apologize for that. As we later found out. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it's all about. Not the pageantry, not the flash, not the flair. It is all about the wrestling. Important to note that both Craig Stevens and Jamie Hill are without their own partners. Maple and Dexter Spectacular. Not seen him. The referee just, for whatever reason, keeping Jamie Hill from continuing the assault. Don't know what that was all about. Craig Stevens taking advantage, turning things around here. Would know him to be the sort that would just try to bribe the referee into his own way, especially in such an important matchup. Of course, we know that Jamie Hill has things to be thinking about now with that three stages of hell challenge laid out by Roger Desmond earlier tonight. The tag match between natural greatness and spectational followed up by that street fight, and then finally, should it come to it, a hell in a cell. Next team just has to focus on winning this match, proving himself a worthy champion. And being one of the longest reigning 
Division champions here in Westland Wrestling should be enough for that. Greg Stevens having Jamie Hill up on the top rope. And, oh, dropping Jamie's face hard into the canvas. Jamie Hot shot it off the ropes. And Craig just warming himself up, getting ready for this one. for that one. At the final level drop, 10 level drops, and will that be enough to hit Craig Stevens victorious here. Craig Stevens victorious. I don't something had to have happened. Jamie Hill would not have just fallen there, but let's see again. And yes, straight three count for Craig Stevens. Craig victorious here over the Universal Champion. Jamie Hill not exactly as energetic as he would have been. Something definitely having happened. Craig Stevens still victorious here. And we will see you next time, ladies and gentlemen.